winter is coming. I hope someone on my YouTube channel gets my Game of Thrones reference. If you did, thank you. Without further ado, I just wanted to share one product category on Etsy that sells incredibly well and is lower saturation as far as the market goes that you can enter into this holiday season and hopefully see a lot of sales with creating products for this one category on Etsy. Now that category we're talking about is decor core items, guys. What's really natural to go into, especially when you start a print on demand business, is maybe doing t-shirts or mugs or sweatshirts or maybe apparel. And while you still can break through market saturation and get seen on Etsy, what's really important to kind of stick with and design for right now may actually be decor because a lot of people are actually buying decor items as opposed to apparel. People still are buying apparel given, but I feel like it's less search volumes than what you'll see in the decor categories. So without further ado, I'm going to show you three different design ideas that you can easily do with one of my favorite design softwares called Kittle. We will be using Kittle today to design and also a little bit of Creative Fabrica to get some of our design elements from as well. But with that being said, I hope this video gives some inspiration for those of you who may just be starting or you may already have a shop and you're looking to really prep your shops for quarter three and quarter four. So without further ado, I'm going to show you with my Everbee tool how much search volume these areas and categories of Etsy are in demand right now. And when I'm filming this, this isn't even in the peak of holiday season. We are just before it. So I did want to give you some idea of how much demand there is for these product types and categories on Etsy and how you can design quite easily for these specific types of categories as well. So we're going to hop onto my laptop and get into it. Alrighty. So now that we're on my laptop, I did want to show you what is high search volume as far as Christmas goes. So if we type into our search bar, just Christmas, I have the Everbee Chrome extension that will populate how many monthly searches these categories and search queries are getting right now. So as we can see, Christmas ornaments is already 5,000 monthly searches, Christmas decor over 4,000, Christmas stockings over 3,000, Christmas shirt 6,000, Christmas wreath, Christmas gift 16,000. That is insane. So if we just look at Christmas in home and living, sometimes I like to peruse and see what's on here. So when I click on product analytics, this is going to populate what listings have the most sales. I'm just going to toggle this so we're seeing the highest sale volumes here and from looking at a lot of these products I'm seeing that Christmas stockings are number one we have ornaments that are making a seller over $15,000 in monthly revenue ornaments is no surprise that it's selling so well as is so this gives us a pretty good idea of what's selling and what we can go into later on as well so Christmas ornaments stockings those those look to do really, really well. So I want to pull up Printify and see their catalog just to see what other items we could design for. So there is stockings on Printify. So we can design a stocking, which is really cool. If we wanted to do something like that, they have holiday stockings, they have the Christmas stockings, and these are all really great. I know Printify also has ornaments. So if I look up ornaments, we have the ceramic ornament by Imagine Your Photos. We also have Duplium, Pick the Gift. We have glass ornaments with the printed mint. So there are tons of ornaments we can design for as well, which is great. And then I'm just going to look at Printify catalog and see what other decor item we could design for today. So looking down the list, as far as decor, a velveteen plush blanket, those are actually really high quality. I've ordered one just for my own decor. And just looking down the list a little bit more, I think I want to do a blanket as one of our designs. So I think I have what I need now. So I'm going to head over to Creative Fabrica and just get a plaid type of graphic that we can repeat on a blanket. So what I'm gonna look up is I'm just gonna type in plaid pattern in Creative Fabrica. And then I'm going to click on the special license for print on demand just to make sure that we can use this specific pattern. So one of the reasons why I like 
Creta Fabrica is because they have a lot of patterns that you can use just on print on demand products. So I'm going to download this one. I think this is a really nice seamless pattern that we can put on a blanket. Then I'm going to download that. Okay, so I think the first item I'm going to create is just this blanket here. So I'm gonna click into this. So there's Spoke Custom Products and then Miami Sublimation. I've used Spoke in the past, so I think I'm going to use them for this, but I've heard Miami Sublimation's really good too. I'm just using Spoke because a lot of my other products have that. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna open up a new project and for this project, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it a square dimension. And this is going to make sense in a little bit here on what I'm doing. I'm going to do 5,000 by 5,000. I will create that. And then what I will do next is I'm going to drop in one of the plaid patterns that we downloaded from Creative Fabrica earlier. So I am just going to make this so it covers the whole canvas that is perfect. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to look up some shapes. So I think I'm going to do maybe snowflake. I'm going to lock this in the background just so I don't move that on accident again. And I am going to change this object to just a white. Oop, that is not what I wanted. We'll keep this just as a white. And I'm just going to paste this. Okay, so I have my five little elements here and I might make this snowflake just a tiny bit smaller. Pretty happy with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to download for digital use. I'm gonna optimize quality before I do that, of course. I'm gonna change the name and download again too because that would help for organization purposes. Blanket pattern. Okay, I will put Christmas blanket pattern. Okay, that's better. So now I'm gonna take that Christmas design and plop it in here. And then next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create pattern, which will turn that design into a pattern on the blanket, which is really fun. Sometimes I like to go a little bit smaller, but outside of that, that's it for this design here. We can select the sizes if we want to do smaller or larger. Then I'm just going to save the product as is. And we have our first product done, which is really cool. If we look at this, this is a really nice just decor blanket. And also if someone wants to drape this on their couch or something like that, this is just a super nice blanket. And I will say I've ordered samples of these types of blankets before and they print really, really well. So highly recommend ordering a sample or if you just need decor in your own home. I think that's a really great option. The next on our list is going to be a ornament. So I do have a tutorial on how to create ornaments and I highly recommend watching that one as well as this tutorial video as well. But for this video, I'm going to be using just a template off of Kittle because there are so many Kittle templates already made and these are print on demand friendly. So I do like editing these so they are my own and they're my own IP. But sometimes I like starting with a template just because it makes the process a lot quicker and easier. So this is a really nice template that I am just going to use and edit so we can make it our own here. This is just such a nice design. First of all, whoever created this, a lot of independent artists create on Kittle along with users and kudos to whoever made this because this is so nice. I just want to edit the circular structure. So I'm going to figure out what layer that is and then we are going to edit from there. So I see there's a red outline that I just want to delete. I feel like I want to change maybe into just a slightly different text. So I'm going to do a just generic name that makes sense for this ornament. I'm thinking of if I were to sell this, this would be to maybe a new married couple. I don't want farms at the end though. Yes, so I love this. This is really nice now. I am going to change. I really like that. That is really nice. So I love this, what we have going on now. I think this is super nice. And then I'm just gonna change this to a different text. I think this text is nice though. Like I feel like you could use this and you'd be just fine. I just want to change it a little bit more. 
I really like that text. I think that looks super nice. I'm going to make this more of a personalization one. So maybe engage 2023. I think that would make sense. And then I'm just going to delete that. And <laughs> we're just going to bring, I don't know how to delete these leaves. Okay. I'm just going to go to layers, delete that. And I feel like this, I should change just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with this. So I want to change the background though and everything else to a white. And then I'm pretty much happy with what we have going on with this ornament. So I absolutely love this ornament. It is so adorable. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove background, optimize quality. We're going to download as a PNG. And then we are going to go to ornaments. I am in my products from last year. We go to catalog, then we go to ornaments. There is where our ornaments are. So I'm going to choose the Imagine Your Photos one just because I'm based in the US. Imagine Your Photos is based in the US. So shipping's a little bit less for me and a lot of my customers are based in the US. If you're based in Canada, there is a Canadian supplier called Duplium and they are really good as well. Very high quality. Printify does do their ratings on a monthly, weekly basis and they've consistently had pretty high ratings in their printing, shipping, packaging, quality standards. So I will say Duplium's amazing too, but for the purpose of this video, I'm still using Imagine Your Photos because that's what I use in my own Etsy business as well. You know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to download with the background because there is a layer on this and that's why it is showing black on the back. Okay, we're going to delete that one and we will bring over the other one. <laughs> Wow, that like is smack dab perfect in the middle. Oh my gosh, this is such a nice ornament. Holy cow, I love this so much. I love this. This is such a nice ornament. It's very like vintage-esque. Oh my goodness. I'm happy with that. So we have our second product done now. So now we are going to go to our last and final product, which is just the Christmas stocking. I did want to check on the stockings before I get to making the design because some of them only have certain design parameters. So I know some of them you can kind of edit other areas. It looks like this one would probably be the best for us to design on. If someone was buying a Christmas stocking for someone, my first thing that I would think is what does that person like that this stocking can be personalized to that person? So for me, I think about like maybe someone who likes gaming, they can get their own stocking that's kind of neat and nifty. And I think that'd be fun just to do a repeated pattern type of gaming stocking. So I'm just going to add in some elements here that are in the world of gaming. And then I'll change change the color so it represents what we're kind of doing here. So again, I'm just going to kind of repeat the patterns that we have. Just going to make this one a teeny bit smaller. We'll make this a different color slightly. So I'm going to add a name in here that we can personalize. So we could do like a repeated name if we wanted to. So maybe like a Sydney thinking of a random name. I feel like my names in my brain are so, why do I choose these names, you know? I'm going to select some type of font that makes sense for this. I feel like to repeat, we kind of have to figure out something that's gonna look cool. What I really like about Kittle is they have so many unique fonts that I just have not seen anywhere else. I just love playing around with the fonts so much. I think what I kind of want to do though is to do one font different than the other font. Like I think that's fun. So maybe I'll do more of like a block based serif font and then I'm going to do the second font. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to match the colors that we already have though. I think that's really important is to kind of match the accent colors. If we're doing a white, I'd rather just keep it white or this off white if anything, but I think this is pretty good. I really love like the retro colors. Like I love this so much. The last thing that I want to do is add in like a slight border. I think that all of these products or all the items surrounding have a border. So I think that would be really cool to just add in as like an extra little thing. The only thing is with the script fonts, they don't really allow that. 
So I'm pasting that and I'm duplicating it just so we can hide the script behind it because the edges do blend into the next letter. So I don't want that necessarily. Okay, I like this. So I'm gonna take the offset down. We're going to adjust this just slightly. And I am pretty happy with this. The only thing is I want to match the border color. So I want all of the border colors to kind of be the same. So I'm gonna change the black into this kind of like bluish navy shade. I think that navy shade's really nice. I might change this just like slightly. I feel like red and blue look really cool. I'm going to make this a little bit larger and I'm pretty happy with this. So we're going to download the PNG. So now we're gonna go to our Christmas stocking and I'm going to upload this as is and then I'm going to create a pattern again so we have that pattern going throughout the stocking which I think will be super cool the Sydney name at the foot area whoever sees this product they see that Sydney is kind of going throughout here so I might change this just slightly but this all together came out really nice I'm just gonna look at our product mock up here but this is super nice oh my gosh I love this so much so I'm gonna pull up all of our images that we did today together and then we will do the conclusion at the end of this here once I get my life together. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this tutorial today. I hope that this helped a lot of you in creating some really nice designs for this holiday season and prepping your stores for listings that will hopefully really get you high sale volumes as we approach quarter three and quarter four. Besides that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment down below with what other videos that you'd like to see in the future here. Don't forget to stick around for that blooper reel because you, you guys know one is coming and I'll see you guys in the next video here. There are so many t templates. I can't speak today. Home warming type of, I have to repeat this again. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take a water break. Then we'll, then we'll redo this. I do get, we're going to repeat the conclusion one more time, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the struggle today.